Hello friends, hola amigos. Today we're going to exchange the car battery. Welcome to this new video. Now recently I had to change my windshield and after this intervention, my battery was dead. It wasn't the first time I had this before. And they jump started me i went back home and i put the car on the charger all night you can see the video here in the description of the charger and after the night all problems were solved but very soon i started to get notifications again on my telephone to alert me that the battery voltage was low and that was thanks to my hardwire kits with 4g module and everything went fine until yesterday my wife took the car for shopping and she called me that the battery is down again so i tried to jump start the car with an older car but it didn't succeed it so i called the nissan assistant and they jump started me with a jump start device the battery had only 8.3 volts so this is really clear to me that this battery that is there from origin the nissan renault varta battery is dead i need to replace them with a new one so i went to the shop to buy me a new battery so there it is, it is the cheapest solution to do it yourself. You can see a Varta and it cost me 200 euros. When you do this at the dealership, you even pay much more. So you should always look for the battery that is suited for the start stop system. And it, it has the same specifics as the original battery. Now just for the sake of my own curiosity, I'm going to test the percentage right now. So yesterday it was only 8.3 volts. They jump started it and drove home. It's only a two minute drive. So let's check out what it gives right now. And you can see I have 8.7 again. So it won't be enough to start the car. So this battery is certainly dead. So did let me also know that it isn't a problem of the of the starter motor or the alternator it is really the battery itself so the change of the battery would really solve this problem now changing the battery is as simple as releasing these bolts over here to remove the bracket and to loosen up both bolts of the plus and the ground wires and we can remove the battery itself so first i've got a tenner in order to loosen this bracket so th this is a job you can even do with a simple key like this i even did it on the parking lot with my previous car when i also had a battery problem i drove to the car shop and only with this key i changed my battery you can see these are hooks so you simply turn them in order to remove them. Now the second step is the plus itself. You can see the date over here. This is what they look like side by side. You can see it is the same size. Put the bracket back in. Now the bracket in place, we can remove these covers. Now with that all set, I'll just do a quick test of this new battery.
So now just lock this cover, put the fill back on top. Now I'm back in the car, I can directly see that my time was reset and the language as well, but that's no problem. Just let's start the motor. And there you go. Directly go to the settings. There you go. And then we have to scroll down all the way to language settings. There you go. So French. And now we have to set the correct clock as well. So I use 24 hour display and that's all about it. Now let's check the radio as well. So DAB, and you can see that it even remembered all my radio stations. So you can see it is really easy to change the car battery yourself. No need to go to a workshop or the dealership, just buy yourself a good battery and install it yourself you will lose nothing but language setting and the time display so let me know in the comments what you think about this don't forget to like share and subscribe and i see you in the very next video bye bye